Yes, today is update day for Street Fighter V. What you see before you is the updates for Ryu and Nash. They had a whole host of changes. Our boy Ken has not had the luxury of this many changes. A little unfortunate, but nevertheless, he's still good. He's still strong in this update. So in this video today, I'm gonna to go over all the changes he's had. So stay tuned and um, yeah, take some notes. Hey guys, Rush G, welcome back to the channel. As you now know, this video will be covering the Ken buffs. So for the most part, Ken has been buffed in the update. So I'm gonna go over a few topics. The main ones you need to know about and how it affects his, uh, confirms how it affects his combos and some new stuff that I found as well along the way. So the first topic is Light Kick Tatsu. The buff to Light Kick Tatsu Basically, um, let me just show you this. So if I get the second hit of Like a Tatsu on a grounded opponent, the knockback is significant. You know, they go quite far back. However, if you get the second hit of Like a Tatsu to connect whilst they're airborne, like this, so the first hit actually puts them in an airborne state, the second hit connects. You can see that the pushback, the knockdown is more of like a, if they loop upwards, they sort of float in the air a bit. This creates a lot of new combos. So I'm gonna show you now. Some combos you could not do mid-screen before that now work. So jab into light kick, like it tattoo. As long as a like it tattoo hits twice, you get heavy punch DP consistently. Also, crouch and light kick, stand light kick, like it tattoo. It's I think it's three hits of heavy punch DP after that. Um, overhead, this is consistent. Mid-screen, you'll always get that now. If for whatever reason you get a close range stand heavy kick or if they dash into your stand heavy kick. Same again. New can't hit combo. Crouch and medium punch, crouch, stand medium punch, like it's actually heavy punch DP. Notice that the heavy punch DP mid screen is hitting three times as well. That's significant. If you ever got like it's actually mid screen. It was generally two times the heavy punch DP would connect. It's now pretty consistently three times. Um, you also, I'm not sure, I haven't tested this, let me try. No, that doesn't work. Okay, fair enough. So there's those combos and also there's a change to stand heavy punch like Iktatsu. That again, as aforementioned, um, the heavy punch DP connects three times now. It used to be twice before. So a lot of combos there you can see where Ken consistently gets the DP mid screen, heavy punch or EX, and the heavy punch DP hits for three hits. That's massive because he gets more damage mid screen now for these conversions, these close range like it's Tatsu conversions. What's also cool is if you combine that with V trigger one. So if I use the heavy punch into V skill option, I can now VTC off the second hit of Heavy Punch DP instead of the first in these situations. And that gives me a more optimized combos. Um, you can also use a frame kill here. So anytime you get two hits like it, Tatsu, Tatsu, Heavy Punch DP, mid screen, you can do VT1, you can whiff light punch, and you can either do EX DP. You can do Heavy Punch DP, EX DP, or EX Tatsu, but there's no point doing Heavy Punch DP because you can do a manually timed Heavy Kick Tatsu like you just saw there. So let me show you another one. Whoops. You saw there, I whiffed the Light Punch to get the frame kill um, into EX DP. Basically, auto times the EX DP. And you can do the same for EX Tatsu. Now the whiff light punch frame kill comes from the corner sequences I've actually found. The frame kill basically works in the corner in exactly the same way, but this stuff now works mid screen. Big deal, massive, really, really nice. Um, shout outs to Matty Ice as well. He actually discovered a new optimal uh, no bar spend mid screen. Some stun combo, post stun combo. And that is jump heavy punch, crash and heavy punch. 
like your tattoo to heavy punch DP. That's actually optimal now. Um, I don't actually know. If we have a look at this. If this is optimal or not, I could take a quick look. So that's three, four, eight with the trigger. Let me just try. So that's more damage. That's more damage than the um, the fireball activate combo. So if you want to spend one bar, but you have no meter post stun, and you want to spend the B trigger as well, yeah, do the heavy punch DP two hits after like it tattoo into heavy kick tattoo. Good OK as well. Okay, I think that covers it for majority of these combos. There may be some things I miss out, but that's the crux of what you need to know. So anytime you get like it tattoo. Um, two hits mid screen you will get conversion stand like it buff is actually an interesting concept it's not something i've implemented in my gameplay yet but if you do you stand like it buffers into like it tatsu and you get two hits now you can obviously convert off that and that's quite nice for a buffer of a light but can stand like a buffer is very hard to do it's you gotta be super quick um, that's why I probably that's probably why I don't use it. I should mention as well, if you get like a tattoo into heavy punch DP, generally if it's close range, you can go CA. CA after the second hit, cancel it into in second hit with heavy punch DP, cancel into CA. So that covers the like kick tattoo buff. That's probably the biggest thing for Ken, I think. But uh, outside of V Trigger 2, actually, V Trigger 2 is pretty significant. All right, next thing. This is a little weird, man. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about this. So, Heavy Punch DP has been buffed, and I don't really get outside of this what's been buffed about it. But basically, if you knock the opponent down whilst they're airborne with Heavy Punch DP, they go into like a real crazy slow motion float state, and you can convert off it into follow ups. Mid screen, the most consistent and reliable follow up is heavy is uh, CA. In the corner, it's better. The, the main reason why it's better in the corner is because their backs to the corner. They won't fall away from you, so you can actually get even more follow ups. Mid screen, it's really difficult to get follow ups like another heavy punch DP, another EX DP. Reason is, if you react to the heavy the neutral jump with heavy punch DP, true reaction timing. You know, a real situation, not a lab situation. By the time the Heavy Punch DP hits, they will be low to the ground. So you may be hitting Heavy Punch DP high against the Neutral Jump in the lab and then getting Heavy Punch DP after it or even X Tatsu. But trust me, you're going to drop it in, in a match because you're not doing it at a realistic timing. Um, in so, you know, like a match scenario where you're concentrating on other things. It's easy to heavy punch DP, the neutral jump, but to get the follow-up is difficult is what I'm trying to say. Let me show you what it looks like now. I'm just going to show you the CA follow-up because there's no point showing you the unrealistic follow-ups. So already, that's caused a problem. If the heavy punch DP hits twice, I don't think you get a follow-up. It's if it hits once when they neutral jump or forward jump. Now, I don't like this option. As much as I think it's super cool, I don't like the mid-screen option because that's easier. Number one, it's easier. And number two, it does more damage. So again, it's this kind of range. Strange. I don't. I, as much as I think it's super cool, I don't know how to feel about it. I think because it's quite janky. Again, the heavy punch DP has to hit once. They've got to be at the right juggle height to get the CA. And trust me, if you're trying to do this with heavy punch DP, the follow up or EX DP, it's gonna whiff because you you cannot be at the right range to get the the one hit heavy punch DP and hit them high enough to get the follow up. Corner, it's much better though. That's pretty consistent. You've got to be far away. The problem is if you're close, you may hit twice. And it doesn't look like you can actually get a follow-up if it hits twice. 
however that works. And you can get some real cool combos off this as well. So, um... BT1. Craziness like that. And it really it works really well with VT2 as well. It's interesting. I'm not gonna say it's really good, but it's it's interesting. So that's the main heavy punch DP buff I've seen. Okay. Crush counter stand heavy kick, what's the deal with this? So if you, those of you that played this game in season one. The stand heavy kick is still nerfed in terms of damage. It does 80 on regular hit rather than 90. It used to do 90 back in season one. But what Capcom have done is is they've actually sort of buffed or reverted back the knock back on the crush counter, making it much easier to get medium kick tattoo into heavy EXDP. That's not crush counter. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's try that again. About that range. So that's much more consistent now. Um, we kind of lost that in season two onwards. And what's also cool about this is max range stand heavy kick um, will combo into three hits heavy punch DP now. Again, because the pushback's been sort of improved. And see there, three hits. Before you'd get like two hits, maybe even one hit. Whereas now you're getting, I think it's generally like three hits, sometimes two. Um, and that enables you to do a nice VTC conversions as well. So if I go back to view trigger one, max range-ish, right there. You can get nice conversions like that. Good damage. Um, and yeah, you know, the corner carry as well. So there is that option too. Uh, I can't really illustrate this particular one, but re uh, can Ken's fireball. It's funny, I was thinking about fireball buffs and I said Ryu. <laughs> so the fireball now has two frames less recovery after its entire animation, its full animation. So you may be able to um, play the fireball game, the fireball setup, fireball traps a bit easier. Uh, on block, it's now minus six instead of minus eight, which is a welcome change. That's really nice actually. On hit, it's now zero on hit rather than minus two. That's zero now. Used to be minus two. So that's another nice little thing. I don't know where that's that's useful. I don't know. I don't know what you'd. You can't really pressure after it, which makes no sense. Maybe you can get some nice auto spacing frame traps from that close range. So that's cool. That's very nice. I'm not actually sure if um, any new combos. Doesn't seem like it. Nah. Okay, cool. And really, the last thing to show is V Trigger 2. So, V Trigger 2 now has been buffed, whereby after the initial activation, you now get more um, use out of it. So, if I activate now, that's not what I wanted. Why did that happen? Showing off the V Shift. So, I've activated now. The bar reduces the V gauge runs down the same in the same amount of time. But look now, I get three uses. One, two, three. That's three uses after I activated. Um, you can also do like a level one to begin with during activation. And I can still do a, um, a level three now. That's very cool. What I've just showed you there as well is a optimal, a new optimal combo. So if I, I'm gonna go straight into V Trigger 2 first. I'm gonna do a level three raw into Like It Tatsu EXDP. And we'll do the, the, the no bar spend first. So you can see there, th level three Shimuyukin, you can do Like It Tatsu into Heavy Punch DP. Uh, 253 damage. That's level 3 when I'm already in V trigger. Previously, we'd just do raw heavy punch DP. So you can see there, there is a slight damage buff by going for that combo route. Same for EX. 
The X tactical is what we used to do before. Level three. Three oh eight. Now for 316, obviously again that's V trigger 2, level 3 done whilst already in it, you can do like it's Tatsu into EXDP for more damage. There are situations though where this is not ideal, so I'll give you an example where not to do this. So there, after target combo step kick activate VT2 level 3, heavy kick Tatsu gives you 293 damage. You can see there, longer combo is actually not as good to go for that like Itatsu DP follow up. I think it's the same for EX spend as well. One bar spend, EX Tatsu 301. can see there slightly less damage so it depends on the combo routes you take um longer combos generally just stick to the one hit after the full level three i, I prefer if they're in a juggle state just do heavy kitatsu because it does good damage no bar spend and it gives you good ok but if you want to spend the extra bar ex tatsu seems to be better in the um the longer combos so that isn't everything. There are other things I'm still looking at. Um, so obviously the, there's the gameplay mechanics that have completely changed when it comes to the new update. There's many little things. So obviously you've got the V-Shift. You've got the additional layer of scaling when you stun somebody with a throw. That's a game changer as well. There's many other things we need to look at, but absorbing the initial information and having a little play with it today on day one that's what I've come up with. Um, there is another video. I'll put a link in the video description to Matty Ice's video. So he's done some initial um, pointers on the patch as well. So it's worth checking him out. I think I shared it on the um, community post this morning as well. So guys, thanks for watching. If you discover anything, feel free to drop it in the comment section. Really appreciate you guys watching. And uh, yeah, enjoy Ken. We'll catch up soon. If you enjoy the content and want to see more, hit that subscribe button on the YouTube channel. I also stream on Twitch that's every Wednesday and Saturday evening. You can find me on Twitch as Rush underscore G. So thanks for watching and hopefully catch you soon. Take care.